Here's problem 24.5. A hemispherical surface, half of a spherical surface, a radius of r is located in a uniform electric field of magnitude e that is parallel to the axis of the hemisphere. What is the magnitude of the electric flux through the hemisphere surface? Let's see if we can imagine what's going on here. We've got a hemisphere, just half of a sphere, and we've got an electric field, a constant electric field, that's parallel to the axis of the hemisphere going into this surface, as I've drawn it, from the left. Now, as this field goes through, it's going to exit the surface as well on this other side. And the problem is, um, if we're trying to calculate this based on the area vector with this electric field, the area vector is going to be at all sorts of angles as these field lines go through. So we would need a supercomputer to calculate the flux through this hemisphere based on E dot dA because the dA's are changing their angles everywhere on this surface. So it might be easier to think of this by the fact that this E field enters on this flat surface first and then all those flux lines that are going into this flat surface are coming out through the curved hemisphere surface as well. So there's as much flux lines going in as there are coming out on the other side. If we could calculate the flux lines that are going in, then we could use the idea that the net flux is equal to the flux that's going in on the left-hand side plus the flux that's going out on the right-hand side. And the net flux should be zero because we have an external field. The Whatever flux lines are going in are coming out, so our net flux is zero. So our influx, or our outflux, is what we want, is going to be the negative of our influx. And our influx is going to be equal to E dot the area vector on that surface. Now the area vector is actually going to the left like this on this flat surface. So it's going to be E dot the total area on that surface, which would be E times the area times the cosine of the angle between those two vectors. So this is going to be equal to E times the area of that circle, which is pi r squared, times the cosine. Now the electric field is going to the right. The area vector is going to the left. So the angle we're talking about here is 180 degrees. Cosine of 180 is a negative 1. So this influx is going to be negative e pi r squared. Well, we want the outflux. So our outflux is the negative of the influx so this would be a negative, negative e pi r squared. So this is going to be e times pi r squared. It's positive, which we should expect for a flux that's exiting the surface. It should be a positive flux. And so we have e times pi r squared is the flux that is exiting the hemispherical surface on the right. Uh, 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 uh.